Dutch company Mars One is searching for applicants, willing to be beamed up to Mars, only to never return. The company plans to send their first flight crew in 2023, with the aim of setting up a permanent human colony in space, with the second crew due to arrive two years later. Today, the Mars One Foundation starts the search for Mars inhabitants. The search for people from all nations who want to settle on Mars. Mars One is a not-for-profit organization that is working on landing the first crew on Mars in 2023 and another crew every two years after that. When he was asked whether the settlers were likely to reproduce, Lansdorp offered a cautionary response. These people will be living on Mars in a very small environment with just four people. It will be a dangerous environment and any prospective parent should always ask himself, uh, is this the right time and place for me to have children? These are rep responsible people that we're sending to Mars, so they will certainly come to the conclusion that it's, especially in the first years, not the right place to have children. But maybe when there's 20 or 30 people on Mars, uh, that could become an, a possibility. The launch, landing and various other parts of the $6 billion mission will be streamed on the internet and, according to Lansdorp's estimate, viewed by around 4 billion people. Anyone aged between 18 and 40 and in good physical condition can apply to take part in the idealistic space mission. Applicants will have to pay a fee of $38 and undergo a seven-year training program. Mars One says around 10,000 prospective applicants from 100 countries have already shown interest. They will hope that speculation about alien life on Mars remains just that.